Okay guys, I am back from healing up uh, my Pokemon and running down to Antic's house. Uh, but my Birdie is now at level 7 because I ran up I ran up against a couple of Pokemon on the way there, I am on the way back. And I'm going to try calling Richie, like I don't think he'll be ready to battle again, but I just think it would be interesting to see what happens. This trainer is close by, I talked to him in person, oh. Okay, so I guess we need to be a little bit further away, but... So I suppose we'll have to try that another time. Oh, is that the way out? Oh, Pokemon. Oh, it's just another chilly monk. I think Cubbug can handle that. It's only level 2. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I really shouldn't press the button so quickly. I should pay a bit more attention. We wanted you to do was to tackle. There we go. That's what I wanted. <laughs> You really should be able to take it out in less than three moves, Cubbug. Come on, it's level two, you're level six. You're better than this. You can do this, come on. That's it. Right, what's this? Oh, we've got an antidote, that's cool. Now, there was definitely someone wandering around here. Oh, but we can't get to them because we don't know Rock Smash yet. Uh, well, I'm just going to do a little bit of an explore in this area. I think we've caught all of the Pokemon, but just in case. You never know, guys. And then I guess we'll enter the new town. Alright, guys, so we did not catch any new Pokemon, sadly. I think we've probably got all the Pokemon in the area. But we did get Cubbug up to level 7, so Cubbug and Burby are now both level 7. And I noticed that Burby has the move Flash, and we can't use it yet because we don't have the appropriate gym badge. So I'm guessing we'll be able to use it after we get the first badge, which I'm thinking means that there's going to be a cave nearby because you use Flash, for those of you that don't know, to light up dark areas like caves. So that I thought was interesting. But yeah, other than that, let's, let's go explore. Let's, let's go into this new town. Kevlar Town. Oh, the music's really nice. It's kind of like calming. Yeah, I like that. Hi. Hey, did you know that if you talk to people multiple times, sometimes they'll say different things? Well, is that a hint? Will you say something different? Yeah, just like that. Good work. <laughs> That's cool. That's a cool little thing. Oh, look at these flowers moving in the wind. That is so cool. It is so pretty, don't you think? Right, who lives here? Oh. No one. But there's a PC, which is interesting. But I, I can't use it. Can I take... No, we can't take coffee, can we? That's such a shame. That would be such a nice thing. Uh, the other thing I discovered is that you can actually run inside houses. Check this out. Look, you can run inside buildings. I can't remember if this got implemented into a proper Pokemon game or not, but I know there was at least one where you couldn't. It's certainly the earlier ones. It's something about, um, like if you try it, it will come up and say Professor Oak advises against this or something. I don't know if you guys remember that, but I just thought that was such a cool little thing. Right, hello, how are you doing? We just moved to this town. It's small, but homey. I think it's a good place to raise a family someday. And you? She's talking about kids already. Why couldn't we raise some Pokemon instead? Yeah, yeah, too right. You tell her. <laughs> you tell her that's what you wanted to. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, this has a signpost. What? What is this? Oh, a bike repair shop. Does that mean we can get a bike soon? That would be cool. Do you also sell bikes by any chance? Hey, kid. You walked in here, which means that you need a bike repair. Ah, oh, you don't have one? Well, it figures. I haven't gotten any customers of late now that they've already sold everyone in Kevlar Town a bike. Actually, if you bring me a bike wheel, I can fix an old bicycle and give it to you. That would be awesome! How do I get a bike wheel? <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll just ask around and see if someone has one. Hey kid, do you have a bike wheel? 
I want to get a bike, but the shop here doesn't have any. What a lame shop. Well, it is a bike repair shop, not a bike sale shop, apparently. Hey kid, you a trainer? Well, you might want to know that if you head north, you can reach North Salt Town, which has the first gym. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, Alton. How cute is that? I want an Alton, guys. So, um, this is not the town with the gym then. This is just another little town. Welcome to Kevlar Town, the tiniest town in Tandor. I'm sure it's not as tiny as the town I came from. That Mari, he's always crying to people to get them to do something for him, and he wonders why he doesn't have any friends. Um, who? Oh, you. Are you sure? You, are you okay? You seem to be crying. Uh, all right, okay, I'll, I'll leave you alone. Oh, berries. Oh, oh, oh! I can pick up my new Pokemon. Hello, you must be Pitcher. I've received a gift for you. Here you go. Pitcher received Gibraltar. That's so cool. We look forward to your next visit. Do you have other stuff for me as well, though? Don't you? Destiny knot and another. Aromatic herb and another. <laughs> and I think that was it, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, we should stock up on some things. Um, how many poke balls do we have? We have two. So we should buy, what, like 10? I like to have around 10. And that will give me a little bit extra. Yeah, we can afford that. And cute. And I think maybe we'll get some potions. Oh, that's so cool! I love that little thing, that when you buy Hope Balls in 10, you get a free uh, Premier Ball. That's such a cool thing. Um, how many have we got? We've got three, so should we buy two and then we'll have five? Okay, what else? Um, we could get some Antidotes, we've got two, so if we get three of those... Okay... Um, do I need an ice seal? I can't need ice seal already, right? I can't imagine coming across ice Pokemon. Um, do I want an escape route? They're kind of expensive. I think I'll be all right. I think I think we're probably okay. I'll just go towards it. Oh, oh wow, guys, he's he's gone. The delivery man. He's just. Did anyone see him disappear? I'm I'm guessing. That happened when we went into this screen. That's interesting. Hmm, he just vanished. That's, um, something. <laughs> was not expecting that. Dang, I followed an order to Great Balls last week and they still haven't come. We need them. Passing trainers been to mantle them. Yeah, some Great Balls would be, would be great. <laughs> no, we don't really need them yet. Poke Balls is fine. It's fine for, for our needs. Just right now. Oh, no, I did go in that house. Yes, yeah, I did. That's the bike repair shop. Okay. Hey, dude, want to hear a good joke? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, listen. How do you get 50 Pikachu on a bus? You Pokemon! <laughs> get it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, am I the only one that actually thought that was pretty funny? <laughs> oh, okay. So let's get some berries, yes. And um, we'll plant one as well. <laughs> you poke them on. <laughs> I know that was actually kind of lame, but I think that's what made it so funny. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, uh, what berry are you? A pika berry or pizza? Pika? I'm not sure. Not quite sure how that says. Um, so, what kind of berry is that? What does that do? Let's have a look. There's my berry pouch. Oh, to recover from poison. That's cool. But I can't plant one because I've only got the one, so I will keep hold of that. So this must be the like a the berry place. Oh, will I get a watering can here then? Maybe. 
My girlfriend is mad at me, so I'm buying her flowers to get her to forgive me. That is a good idea, sir. Welcome to Kevlar's Berry Shop. Take a free sample of Chandor's most delicious berries. Your Pokemon will love them. Cool, thanks. Oh, okay, that's two. Oh, three. Oh, she just keeps giving me the berries. Oh, and another one. Wow, thank you, ma'am. That was really nice of you. What did I get? We got one of these that recovers from paralysis, one that recovers from sleep, and one that recovers from a burn, and one that recovers from um, being frozen. That's pretty awesome. So I definitely didn't need that ice heal. Thank you so much. That was really kind of you. Can I say thank you? Uh, no, just that the berries can be found in a greater amount at Bakel Forest. These fruits are endemic to the area. Okay, I just wanted to say thank you, but um, yeah, that was really lovely. Thank you very much. Okay, I guess we're going this way, guys. We're gonna go through this town and onto the onto the next area. Oh, wait, I haven't healed up my Pokemon. I better go do that. There was a poke center here. Oh, and there's someone in the flowers. Can I play in the flowers with you? It's so hard to get around these days. I wish they put in some roads. Why? Why do you want roads when you when you have fields of flowers? <laughs> oh, sorry guys. I'm obviously in a bit of a funny mood today. Um, I just yeah, just want to want to play around and run in the flowers. <laughs> right. Let's let's actually get back to what we're doing. Ah, hello, young trainer. Is this maybe your first time seeing a Pokemon Center? Well, I suppose technically in this game, yes. Come with me, I'll show you around. Well, thank you, ma'am. A Pokemon Center, first and foremost, is sort of like a hospital for Pokemon. My sister here will restore your hurt Pokemon to full health. Our services are completely free of charge, so feel free to use them as much as you like. Thank you. That's not all there is in the Pokemon Center, though. To my left is a PC. It can be used to store items and Pokemon. If you're already carrying six Pokemon and you catch another, it automatically gets sent to the PC. You know, here's a good point. In all seriousness, how does that work? You throw a Pokeball at a Pokemon and somehow, somewhere, someone knows that you've got six and you can only carry six, which is another weird thing. Um, and then that Pokeball and Pokemon disappears and reappears in a computer that you can access from any Poke Center. Like, that's a weird thing, right guys? Like, that totally messes with your head. How? How does that happen? <sighs> I just, I, I don't know. I just think that's really strange, but. I suppose I'm kind of spoiling the illusion of Pokemon here. I guess it's not necessarily supposed to make sense. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Tandor's Pokemon storage system was developed by somebody named Twitch. <laughs> so that's why it's called Twitch's PC, or that would make sense. I haven't the foggiest idea who they really are, though. Well, I'm sure we'll find them on our journey. That is usually a thing that happens in Pokemon games. Up here, we have the Tandor network. It allows you to connect with other trainers all around the world. If you talk to the attendants, they can fill you in with more information. This concludes the tour. As thanks for listening, why don't you take these? Oh, thank you very much. I will give some of these to my Pokemon. It was very kind of you. I will give a... Oh wow, did she give us like five? Cool. Uh, I pressed the wrong button, didn't I? I pressed back. Right, let's give... One to Electrox. Let's give one to Cubbug. And let's give one to Burby. Oh, I forgot to check out my Gibraltar. Um I'll give I'll let him or her her. I'll give her one as well. Right, yeah, we need to do that. We need to check her out. I can't I can't believe I forgot about that already. So sidetracked by those flowers. 
Right, um, so she is an electric ground Pokemon and modest nature had a fateful encounter often doses off <laughs> okay so she knows tackle and oh quick attack that's good let's check out the pokedex entry let's see where she is oh she's quite way down Oh, but that one's orange. That's interesting. A sand mouse Pokemon. So it's kind of Sonicy. Sonicy was kind of, was like like mousey, right? I think. <laughs> right. The spines on its back stand rigid when charged with electricity. It is popular with children and young trainers. Huh. Forms. Oh! Wait, I've got a shiny version? Really? That's so cool! Does it, where does it say that? Is that what this little. No, that's not. I think, guys, I think this is a shiny Pokemon, and that's why it's a different colour. Well, that's pretty damn awesome. That is so cool! Right, I need to move her up to the top so we can train her because we need to get her up to a similar level to these guys. She's definitely going to be a part of our party, that's so awesome. Oh wow, you look like a Super Saiyan, how are you doing? You know what I heard? Don't panic, but I heard that up north, a strange illness has been spreading through Pokemon. Be careful. Hmm, that yeah, was mysterious. Say, trainer, what starter did you pick? I got Electrox. Good decision. Electrox is well rounded and able to beat a lot of different types. But careful of Grossard's magnitude. Um, okay, thanks, I think. Um, yeah, right, let's talk to you people. Oh, okay, <laughs> startled me a little bit. Is this your first time on this floor? Well, welcome to the Tandor Network. We provide services such as online lobby, virtual training, GTS and wonder training. Um, you know what? I'm just going to look into this another time because I feel like that's going to be a lot of information to take in and it's probably just going to be about like the trading and things. Um, really, we just want to get on with our adventure, right guys? So I will heal up my Pokemons. And we'll talk to a few people and we'll get moving. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon. Right, let's talk to you. I'm raising my special Chinny Monk, but even though they have powerful moves, we keep losing. Wanna fight? Sure, why not? Is it okay for us to battle indoors like this? Rich boy Malu would like to battle. Oh, well, it's only level 4. It's not that strong, is it? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what the red star is. It does mean that it's... Sh I think that's what the red star means. That it's shiny, right, guys? Right, quick attack. It's such a cool Pokemon. I love it. So cool. It's a Bolt Um, And... Tackle? Hopefully will be a little bit stronger. I suppose I'm only one level higher. I can't expect it to just, like knock out a level 4 Pokemon. Oh, that's a nice use of a berry there, Gibraltar. It's so useful having berries early on in the game. So useful. Uh, one more, I think, we'll do it. Nice. Ooh, that was a nice bit of XP. Oh, you've got another one. Yeah, I think we'll stay. I think we can, we can take you. Quick attack. Just because it helps like guarantee that we go first. Or at least I've always thought of it that way. Oh, that was strong. Um, I think we should use a potion. But yeah. I don't want to risk Gibraltar fainting. I, I want her to, to get the XP from this battle. Don't want to take any chances. 
Right now, tackle. Couple more should do it. Oh, it's Chinamon's actually quite strong. When you think there's only like a level difference, I think we'd be okay. Yeah, just about gonna be okay. This should take it out. Yes, nice. Nicely done. Yay, level six. Sweet. Oh, you've got another one? Are you kidding me? Okay. Alright, we can do this. We will use another potion because I said just not gonna take the risk. I think it's worth it. Definitely. And yeah, we should be okay, I think. See if we do a little bit more damage now that we're level six. That's better. Much better. Ooh, ouch, critical hit. I think we'll probably still be okay. Think. Yeah, yeah, we should take this out with this one. Should be okay. And then we can heal up because we're still in the Pokemon Centre. Ooh, so close to being level 7. So close. Yeah, well. Okay. Um, you can't just call the nurse over, you actually have to go up to her. That's how it works, <laughs> right? Let's uh, have a little bit of a heal. I'm going to end this episode here, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Take care. Bye.